Hi. Today we're going to do some uh, butterflies for our bulletin board. This is an activity you can get your students involved in. Um, I made a pattern. Actually, I cut it on a fold and it looks a little bit like a heart shape with another little loop added to the bottom of it. You can kind of see the shape that I made. Or if you turn it this way, it's sort of a lopsided heart without the little point on the bottom. Uh, so that's another way. And I cut it on a fold right along here. And when you open it out, you've got the entire butterfly. I made two of them in solid colors up here. You can do those if you want, or here's the idea that I like the best is to make something. Uh, you can use like a, a white piece of paper, you can use the orange, the yellow, and you can have your students use crayons or markers, uh, maybe even a little bit of paint to decorate the uh, wings of your butterfly. Now on this one that I've made, I've only decorated one side. You'd probably want your students to do both sides. Um, just decorate uh, each side and that way um, it's going to look colorful no matter how it's placed on the bulletin board. Then once you get them all together, you get them made and everything, then you can decorate your um, flowers on your bulletin board and add some butterflies to it and each one of them will be ones that your students have actually made. Now I made a little body that goes with uh, my butterfly wings. You can sort of see it here. And all I did there, I took a chenille stem, one whole chenille stem, and I wrapped it around the end of a pencil. Okay, and you can take it off. And this can be your actual little body that you put on for your butterfly. What I did was to make the little body, and then I used hot glue to attach my wings to my butterfly body. Um, I'm not going to do that for the video, but that's the way that I attached uh, those that I've already made. Now, if you want, you can just leave the little um, chenille stem like this and just do the body. If you want to, though, and I'm doing this in several different colors here so that you can see them more clearly. If you want to, you can make a little set of antenna. And all I did here was take another chenille stem and I cut it in three equal pieces, basically. And then I just bent it to make the little antenna. And then if you want to, you can even go on and add some little feet. Uh, you know, butterflies are insects. And so they're going to have six legs all together. So you can make the sets of legs just like you make the butterfly uh, antenna. You can just make the little legs something similar to that and all you have to do is just slip that right into the little grooves on your chenille stem and that holds them in place then so that you've got your legs attached. Now I did my little bug here in different colors so that the different parts that I was doing would show up more clearly for you on the video but you know you could do um, just all solid black if you want to or you could mix it and do white antenna and black body and legs. I mean, there's any numbers of possibilities. Or you could do it like this and mix the colors too. And once you've put your whole little uh, butterfly body together, then you'll just take the wings and hot glue those on. And then once, they're, once the glue is set and everything, you can actually take your uh, butterfly over to the bulletin board and actually staple that up in place so that you can decorate your uh, bulletin board with the butterflies. So this is a real cute little idea that you can do with your students. There's nothing uh, really that they can't do uh, once you get your chenille stems cut. Uh, there's nothing really that they can't do other than maybe applying the hot glue. Um, you might want uh, to help them with that part of it. And I do recommend the hot glue because it's going to be the best, fastest way to stick your wings on. So this is just a real cute idea that you can use for your spring bulletin boards. Thanks a whole lot.